Hey guys and welcome back to another baby video. Today I am in baby Enzo's room and I'm going to be doing a three to six month essentials video. Um, if you guys haven't already seen my newborn video, I cover a lot of stuff in that. In this video I'm going to be focusing on things that have really come into their own and that I think are worth investing in for the specific time period between three and six months. And it is quite a jump that the time between three and six months is really like when your baby goes from being that tiny like scrunchy newborn into a big fat chubby bouncy baby that's going to be kind of like starting to sit up so there's a few things that are applicable for that like specific period of time enzo is uh six months and one week now so we are now kind of out of this stage all of these things will still continue to use and they're definitely helpful beyond six months but I think they particularly come into their own in that three to six month period so I hope that makes sense. I am going to be doing a separate weaning essentials video so many of you have asked me for this on Instagram um obviously I started off doing like predominantly beauty videos but as I've had kids I've kind of dabbled into the baby stuff as well and you guys seem to enjoy that so I'm going to be doing a few things around kind of um, baby essentials over the next few weeks um, particularly weaning it, we are in the midst of it so I'm not including weaning in this because obviously it kind of comes after six months even though we're still using this stuff and using the weaning stuff I'm going to make it two separate videos anyway the first thing I wanted to include is my probably my number one favorite favorite discovery of um this kind of period of time and also of like second baby discoveries um and it's probably only applicable if you're not um exclusively breastfeeding so if you do need to sterilize things on the regular um and it is from newbie it's their travel uv sterilizer i cannot sing the praises of this highly highly enough i love it so much it's such a good invention there are a few cons to it which i'll get into but essentially we have a uv sterilizer at home as our day-to-day -day sterilizer i'm not sure if the technology was around when we had river but it wasn't like commonplace um now there are quite a few on the market newbie do a bigger version of this um the tommy tippy one that we have is really good i do really rate it because it dries your bottles as well which is very handy but it is slow um it takes an hour to dry and sterilize like a full cycle this thing is incredible so let me just show you through it the one downside to it is the way it looks i have to say i'm not really a fan it's quite executive and i think it would have been better even if they'd have just made it black it would have looked a lot better but design wise i think they could have done a better job functionality though it's just amazing it's got its own battery pack um which is like a rechargeable like usb battery pack like you would have to recharge your phone on the go um and it works really well like it lasts a significant number of um sterilization cycles i'm not entirely sure how many because it's never been an issue us running out like i always make sure it's charged before i'm going on a trip and i'd say if we go away for a week and we use this as our primary sterilizer maybe we charged it twice um, you can also plug it into the mains as well and do it straight from the mains if you don't want to use the battery. Essentially, you've got this compartment at the top. You've got like a little wire rack so you can keep the components from like touching the actual bottom. And then it's got all of the LED um, lights all around and it's all shiny so it reflects all the light. Um, essentially, UV sterilization is something that they use. I think they use it in hospitals. They definitely use it in like piercing studios and things like that. Um, and it's really handy if you don't want the things that you're sterilizing to come out wet. Steam sterilization is great. And don't get me wrong, the little bags that you put in the microwave are handy for when you are in situations where you can't take your own sterilizer. But this is just amazing because genuinely it means that you can sterilize things wherever you are. If you like are on holiday or whatever, you can just take this and it functions as a bag as well. So all of the time we go away, we will take, usually I put the, the sterilized clean bottles in the top and then I'll put um, milk or um, my little um, like powder pot or um, something that I'll get onto in a minute underneath. So the storage capacity is insane. Like you can fit six bottles in the top. I use the Tommy Tippy bottles and you can fit at least six um, of the 200 ml pre-made milks. So you can fit bibs, dummies, everything you need in there. And then you've got like a feeding station. I usually take like a tiny spray um, uh, cleaner as well, like a bottle cleaner. So if need be, if you got delayed or something, you could clean and sterilize totally on the go. This thing is amazing. It's not the cheapest, but 
if you are on the go a lot, it's well, well worth it. Um, amazing for weekends away, holidays, etc. Even if you're just going to be out all day and you want to like know that you've got the option to sterilize if you need to, fantastic. So, so clever. And another thing from Nubi that actually goes with that are these. Um, this is the Rapid Cool. I don't think these existed when I had River, so I never remember seeing them, but they could have done. Essentially what this is, is a reverse thermos, so if you are, um, formula feeding, again, this is like very specific to if you're formula feeding rather than breastfeeding, um, but if you are formula feeding and you're mixing, you're doing the powder feed, we use both, we use pre-mixed and powder at the moment, um, depending on where we are and what we're doing when we're at home or we need to be like we're away from home for a long period of time We will use powder formula rather than pre-mixed But you know that like the problem of having to put boiling water in with the feed And then you have the feed that's too hot and you have to cool it down under cold water Well, this is like a reverse thermos So you put the really really hot milk that you've just made into this shake it leave it for two minutes and it's like perfect temperature um the one thing i would say with these is that they come with this is like a i bought them in a set with two white canisters and then the gray one is just like a hot water thermos so it keeps your boiling water hot um when you're on the go so you can make formula on the go um is the other one of these comes with like an electronic lid that is supposed to tell you when the feed is the right temperature so it's red when it's too hot and then it goes green when it's the right temperature for us personally that lid never worked we just did it on timing we shook it wasted a couple of minutes we always obviously tested the temperature um to see if it was right but the actual temperature gauge on the top never worked and then it actually um it it like got a leak so it ended up um getting like gross milk in the top so we just threw the lid away in the end so the this is actually better the refill one is better um so something to keep an eye on in terms of like long term we've used these a lot um but the electronic lid didn't rate but the rest of it that's like the actual concept of it it's so handy um and again it means that you can just be like on the go and not have to worry about how you're gonna make up formula. And then another thing, and bear with me if you are still exclusively breastfeeding and these things aren't relevant, I will get onto stuff that is relevant for you. Another thing for formula um, heating that I found really handy because Mr. Enzo will not, will not drink cold milk, um, is the Tommy Tippy bottle warmer as well. Because when we are um, going out and about just for the day or for a few hours, I'll take like a carton of pre-mixed formula with me to give him um and this essentially is just a thermos flask so you take the lid off it's a thermos flask in here you can push this is still full from yesterday i haven't emptied it you push the top and then you pour it out and you have your boiling water like on tap essentially and then this perfectly fits the bottles in it and then you can heat the bottle of milk up like on the go i actually when i originally bought this this is really affordable i think this is about an nine pounds eight pounds or something like that when i first saw this i was really skeptical because i was like really like do you really need that but actually it's very handy and we've used it a lot on the go um moving on to toys um uh, there's two toys because i think really three months is like when your baby like will first start actually engaging with toys so things like play mats like you do they they do use them but i feel like they're not really like getting into it um there's been a couple of toys that I really, really rate. The first one, I spoke about this on my Instagram, is the O-Ball. I actually got this for Enzo's stocking and it's been amazing. It's without a doubt his most favourite toy. Um, they're really, really tactile. They're about five pounds. You can get them on Amazon. They're squishy as well. But they're just the perfect texture and size for little babies to get their little chubby fingers in and cling on to them and he loves it he's also got the rattle version which is like a rattle in the middle and then two balls on the end again about five pounds i just always have either one in my handbag he loves them the other thing that's really good is that you can put a dummy clip on um i i always do this when we're kind of out and about so he doesn't throw his toys out of his buggy as well so he'll have his one with a dummy on attached to his kind of um pram like strap that's holding him in and then he'll usually have like a toy attached to a dummy clip as well. Um, so it makes it really easy to attach a dummy clip. They just love them. They're five pounds. 
um so if you're buying like if you want an affordable gift for a baby as well if you're not kind of just buying toys for your own baby this is like a perfect thing to buy that actually is really really good and then another thing this is so annoying this toy but he loves it this he got given from my auntie for christmas and it is it's vtech vtech specialize in the super annoying <laughs> They specialise in the really annoying songs that babies love. Um, no, honestly, like, he absolutely loves this. And I like it because it's really interactive. So it, it, if you kind of shake it or move it, it starts singing. At, I'm just going to turn it off for now. But it starts kind of, like, singing at you or making noises. It's obviously got the button on the front and it's a rattle as well. You can attach it to their table. The head makes an interesting noise. It does a lot for a small toy. So you can throw it in your handbag and it keeps them entertained for a while and uh, it just, yeah, it's it's like compact but interesting to him. Enzo really, really likes it. Um, I wish it had a volume, like a high volume and low volume, which a lot of them do. This one doesn't, it just has loud, but he loves it. Um, the other thing, I have to say, these were actually rivers. Um, but we never really, I think she probably wore them about twice because of the time of year she was born. So because River was a winter baby, by the time she was kind of out and about a lot, it was spring, summer, and she never ever wore these little shoes because she always just had like bare feet or socks, they were enough. But obviously because Enzo's a summer baby, he's been, you know, at that stage where he is like out of a bassinet and into like a big boy seat and he like has his feet, his feet need to be warm basically. It's also been really, really cold and he's obviously not walking yet, but you want something more than just socks if he's not wearing like a snowsuit. These have actually been awesome. Obviously there's loads and loads of different brands um, that make these of varying different prices. These ones are easy peasy. I really like them. Again, they're five years old. So it's, they're from EZ, PZ, easy peasy. Um, and I'm not sure if you can, if the brand even still exists, but they do have some cute ones online that I had my eye on for the next size up. Although actually he got some for Christmas for the next size up. So I'm not going to buy them, but I will link them because they have some really cute ones that are kind of similar to these. These are his ones he got for Christmas. These are from Dotty Fish. Um, but yeah, they're like way, way bigger as you can see. These fit him right now. He's actually got quite big feet for a baby. And then another thing that we loved for River as well, but I actually had to buy in the next size up for him because again, seasonally, they were totally like opposites time of year, is the white company fleece onesie. Now the reason why loads of people do these now, when I had River, I think it was, they were like less common. A few brands did them, um, but now most, brands will have a version of this. The white companies still do the same ones and I think they do them with the bare ears. I think they do them in a few different colors as well. The reason why I like these and that like the fleece ones in, instead of having like a really thick snowsuit, which we do also have one for Enzo. Again, it was hand-me-down from River. But this is what gets used more is because this is warm, like it's a fleece, but it's still thin. Like it's not a thick, thick material. So it's basically just like wearing a jumper so they can still wear it in the car seat. So when you're out and about and you are kind of taking them in and out of the car, obviously you can't put them in the car seat in their snowsuit because they can slip out if you had a crash. Like if they're too kind of padded or and the material slippy like a puffer type material They can slip out. Um, I'm sure you guys know this already if you've got kids that you're not supposed to do that But anyway, this is good because it's essentially like just wearing a jumper But it's warmer than ha you know what I mean? It's like warmer at being an all-in-one and it's on the legs as well um, But you can put them in a car seat in it and it fits nicely and they're like nice and secure But it keeps them warm. I really really rate this one um, like I said, loads of people do them now, but it's like a medium thickness fleece. It's not like a super, super thick fleece, but it's, it's not like that really thin one either, but perfect for what I tend to use it for. Talking of car seats, another thing that I think has been amazing this time, and weirdly, it was actually a real hit and miss thing with Riv, because I loved it, and I thought, um, conceptually and actual like functionally, it's really an excellent product. I'm talking about the Duna car seat. We didn't actually use it that much with Riff because she was the first baby. I feel like we were just geared up to take her wherever we needed to take her. So like we we weren't ever in a massive hurry with a million other things going on, which we obviously are now on the school run in the morning more specifically. The Duna is just 
amazing because you can literally just take him in and out of the car, drop the wheels down, off you go, and you don't need to like transfer him if he's asleep, and you don't, which you don't with the Cybex car seat as well, and we have used that a lot, but I feel like this period of time, particularly when they're still sleeping quite a lot, so you're not gonna be like just taking them out and carrying them to drop her off at school, it kind of just works. Anyway, my point is it kind of just works. We do still use the Cybex um, car seat and our Silver Cross pram as well. But I have to say, day to day in the week, I use the Duna most of the time. And then it tends to be, if I'm in London for the day um, with Enzo, I'll take the, the big boy buggy. Or if we're like doing something at the weekend and we're gonna be out and about. But the Duna has been so, so handy second child essential <laughs> um it's just been yeah really really handy and actually it's worked out quite well because the doona we had for river we barely used it and we actually lent it to one of my really good friends who had a baby um in between my two babies and she used it loads as well because it was her second she used it loads on the school run and now it's back with enzo for the school run so it's it's got its usage out of its kind of lifespan the doona um but we didn't really use it much with rover at all the other thing like um car seat and buggy wise i think is expensive this is definitely not an essential this is a luxury but i think it's worth it for us i really really rate it it's a binny bamba um sheepskin now this is like a natural sheepskin it's they do a few other products but they're essentially the the company binny bamber that's what it's known for is doing these um universal kind of pram liner sheepskin um things with the um they have the slits for the so they're like universal so they can fit into you can put them in car seats i think um i don't think it would fit in our car seats because enzo is pretty wide um but we put this in his buggy and i think the reason why i've included this specifically in this video for that age between three and six months is for us at least it was the age where he went from being in a bassinet he outgrew the bassinet on our in our buggy he's a big baby as well just to like caveat this like enzo is uh, large for his age um, and has been since he was born um, so he outgrew the bassinet at four months and went into the big seat on our buggy which is the Silver Cross Dune um, and it depends on your buggy because some buggies you can use the big seat from newborn which you can on ours but we just we ha it came with the bassinet so we use the bassinet um, some of them don't go flat so it has to be a bit later anyway point being when they first make that transition from a bassinet and like being in a kind of cozy environment where they're a little bit more kind of protected all around them to being in like a big car seat not not car seat a big pram seat it's quite um they're still a little bit wobbly and it's quite um it can be quite like a big space for them to kind of if they're just strapped into the like with the back canvas behind them so having one of these as well as a foot muff obviously dependent on the weather but it's been really cold in the last few months in england so um we've had this inside the silver cross foot muff and i have to say he's been so comfortable and cozy he's absolutely loved it and i actually can't even count how many people have stopped us in the street or in the line to pay in the shop and things like that and said how cozy he looks because he looks so cozy i'll put a picture here of like the setup because it, it honestly is like the coziest thing ever i want to get in there um, but it's really good because it kind of not only is comfortable and um kind of soft for them but it also kind of holds them in a bit because it's a bit more it like pads it in a bit do you know what i mean so they're not in such a big seat for sm such a small person um because obviously the big prams go up to like i don't know age three or however late you want to use them so they are quite big for little babies anyway i really rate these they are expensive they're about 100 pounds i got mine on sale um and but the good thing is because they're natural sheepskin you can wash them um and yeah they're just really they're really lovely quality as well i think the finish of the one that i have is toast toast stripe something like that i think this one's exclusive to liberty um i think you can actually buy it on their website though which doesn't make sense really the whole exclusivity thing but they do some really cool designs like one with eyes um and things like that and then what else have i got to talk about oh this actually which is kind of um a bath essential and we had one of these for river and i think i spoke about it quite a lot and rated it um but this one it has like upped its game since we had river this is by Frida, which these guys got famous for the nose Frida, you know, the nose sucky thing. 
they now have like a massive selection of baby and mum products um and this we bought this as the like replacement for um the one that we had for river because obviously it, it's been a long time since river was a baby and it was a bit like old and gross so we bought a new one um and this is really good because it's not just the brush it's a cradle cap brush um, on the one side which is what we essentially bought it for but it also has a little sponge on the other side and then it has the comb here so literally if Enzo ever has any kind of vague sign of dryness or like the start of cradle cap on his scalp we use this and it just is completely gone and he's never had a problem with cradle cap obviously some babies have cradle cap worse than others so if your baby is like really suffering badly with cradle cap I'm not sure whether this would completely get rid of the problem but for Enzo it's it's done really really well so you essentially like kind of soak the scalp with the um sponge to like really really soften up the skin this is really gross <laughs> like cradle cap is is pretty binging um and then you like massage it with this very very soft bristled brush which kind of loosens everything up and then you comb it with this and it kind of removes all of that dead skin and leaves their scalp looking fresh it does look a little red after you've done it um but it doesn't like you just have to be really really gentle and it's like literally gone within about half an hour and his scalp looks totally clear so i really rate that and it's a nice little setup as well like it just sits nicely by the edge of the bath um i would rate that so that is it for my three to six month essentials video i hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful if you're entering this lovely phase um i feel like the three to six month baby phase is one of my favorites because they just they just start getting reactive and playful um but they're still not moving yet which is when in my opinion parenting gets really difficult is when they start moving and they can't that that stage between when they can move but they can't talk that's the hardest in my opinion and it's different for all babies but i really <laughs> i find that so tricky because you'll like turn around for a second and they're like off um but yeah so this stage is just so so nice and they start really giving back to you and kind of developing their own little personality even more so um anyway i hope it's been helpful if you are going into that stage and i'll see you again soon for my weaning video which might also be helpful for you if this one has been see you soon